Hey guys, Popzone here. This video you guys are about to watch was never meant to be released. Um, this was fully recorded and edited and ready for a release, but I just decided to scrap it as this will not be one of my best videos. With that said, I have not posted in a while, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and release this video. With that said, I hope everyone has a good 2019, and let's go ahead and roll the video. Hello and welcome to another video. Today, we are going to be going over the best Pops Funko released in 2018. So let's get straight into the video. <laughs> So in this video, I'm going to be going over the top 10 best pops, in my opinion, I think Funko released in 2018. I do realize not everyone's going to agree with my decisions and choices in this video. So you guys are more than welcome to go down in the comments and tell me what you think should be on this list or what you just think in general. What's some of the best pops for of 2018. With that said, let's go ahead and continue with the video. So before we get into the actual top 10, um, I am going to be going over a few other items Funko released that I think is better, and we're going to be starting off with the best 10-inch pop of 2018. Um, Funko did release some pops before, um, a long time ago when they first started out, and it was the 9-inch pops, and they stopped making those. And in 2018, we saw the 10-inch um, pops release, and this was really cool. Some pops do dissolve 10 inches, some pops don't, and it doesn't really make sense why some characters got some 10 inch pops. But let's again continue. In my opinion, I think the best 10 inch pop that was released in 2018 was the Dino Meg Ultra Zord. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the name. Um, the Dino Ultra Zord, or just the Ultra Zord, in my opinion, is the best 10 inch. I definitely am not a big fan of the Power Rangers. I. Don't really like it, it just kind of seems childish to me. I don't I don't think I've ever watched an episode of Power Angels. But the Ultra Zord is a 10 inch pop that I can definitely appreciate. There's so many little details on it. It has so much just to it that catches your eye compared to all the other 10 inches. And um, this really is a 10 inch that is worth having in your collection if you're a Power Angels fan. Or just a fan of... 10 inches. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's go on to the next um, item. Okay, so next up, I'm going to be going over the best 6, six inch in of the year. There were quite a bit of 6 inch pops released. They had the Roadhog. That one was really cool. They also had the Spider Hawk. That one was also a really cool release. There were a few other ones. I won't get into that, but I'm going to be going over the te best 6 inch. In my opinion, I do think that was the Hulk busting out of Hulk Buster. This was a really cool pop, a six inch pop. Um, I do like it. I love how they used the metallic paint on it. That was just a little plus to it. It looks so nice, and it really is this worth displaying along with the rest of your Marvel pops. And it's worth getting if you're a huge Marvel fan. I really hope to add this to my collection one day. I do not have this one. But this is definitely one worth getting. So next, um, we're going to be going over the pop movie moments. This is a new thing Funko has been doing. And they've been doing so many of them already. Movie moments really are a core cool thing that Funko has been doing. Sorry for a voice crack. But um, movie moments are definitely a core cool thing that Funko are doing. Really like them. They put They don't always have that much detail, but... They are really cool, but let's get into the best movie moments. And in my opinion, I think that was the Pennywise in Guttle movie moment. This movie moment is really cool. It, it represents one of the most iconic horror scenes of all time. Just Pennywise being in the guttle and Georgie just kind of um, talking on the street while it's raining. Funko did so great at this. They had the different details for the different textures like the grass and the cement and the water. They even have um, the mold of the water kind of making it look like it's raining. Um, Funko did handle this um, movie moment really well and if you're a huge horror fan 
or just a movie fan in general, this really is something that's worth picking up. So, next I'm going to be going over the best chase pop for 2018. So I'm going to get into this. Um, I actually, I was watching collect, Collecting Plastic and his top 10. Shout out to him, go check him out. And he had, um, on his, um, as his best chase of the year, was Mr. Bean. I ultimately do agree with him. I was looking through a lot of the chases. A lot of them are really good. And as he said, um, this Mr. Bean is really what chases should be, chases should be about. A completely new head mold, a completely new body world. As he said, also, this could have easily been an exclusive, but they just decided to make him a chase, which really makes you want to actually chase after this pop. Most pops are typically just color variants or have a, something that's a little bit different than the common, but I think this really does represent what chases should be, something that's completely, or well not completely, same character but just different enough with a different body and head molds. But that is the best chase in the year, in my opinion. Okay, so our last time before we get into the actual top 10 list is going to be the best pop deluxe. And Funko has been doing a lot these lately, um, but they are all cool. They're not the best thing Funko does, but they are really cool. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into this. I think the best Pop Deluxe Funko has released is the Batman on Gargoyle. When I think Batman, I think of him on top of a building on a Gargoyle just looking down at this Gotham City. And this pop shows that perfectly and it really is something that's cool. If you're a huge DC or hero comic book hero fan of all, this is worth something getting. Or something that is worth getting. I personally own this pop and it looks fantastic. I display it along with the rest of my DC pops. And I love this, just love this um, pop deluxe. Okay, so with everything out of the way, let's actually get into the top 10. So number 10, in my opinion, is Ed Sheeran. This pop is great. It perfectly represents Ed Sheeran. When you look at this pop, you don't merely know that's Ed Sheeran, unless you don't know who he is, which some people may not. But this perfectly shows and represents Ed Sheeran. I really like the details on it, like his tattoo and the microphone, and how he has the guitar on his back. This really is a cool pop. I'm. This is personally my list so I just want to include this this is my personal top 10 for the year and in my opinion Ed Sheeran was one of the best pops um, Funko chose to do and handled really well there was a lot of, there were different things that were going on I do remember that when before this pop was released it, I saw some images of um his glasses and on the lens instead of being clear they were white and it looked really bad and they think um i don't know if that was like the original pop design that they're going to go with but they changed it so now it's translucent and it just makes it look that little bit more cooler on the pop design so that is number 10. so this year wasn't the best year for dc DC did not get a lot of love from Funko, but they did get some pops out for DC, and one of these pops that got released was Red Hood, and Red Hood is a great pop. Red Hood, um, I'm not too familiar with the character. Um, I know a little bit about him, how he was the previous Robin, and so he apparently got killed by a joke or something. He got back, back to, I don't know. Um, that's what I've known. I know little about this character, but the pop... Perfectly shows Red Hood. I really like it. It just catches your eye immediately, and there's lots of different details. I like the pose he's in, how he's holding the two guns by his um, sides, and this pop is just beautiful. I love this one. I'm happy to add this one to my collection. That is number nine. <laughs> So 
So for number 8, I chose Iron Man Mark 1. This was, once again, similar to the Red Hood uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. This one is really cool. Um, If you have this pop and you haven't taken it out of the box, you really should. Funko did so well on this pop, you really have to take it out of the box and see in person to appreciate all the little details. They have little dents to show um in the pop that represent the dents. They, on the back of it, it shows his jetpack, and it's just so detailed. Funko really did show what they can do with this pop, and I really hope Funko continues to make awesome pops just like this pop. So let's go on to number 7. So for number 7, I'm not a big fan of Dragon Ball Z. I know the it's a huge fan fa fan base, sorry, for Dragon Ball Z. And one the a pop that was recently released was the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. And this one, um, even though I don't collect Dragon Ball and I've never seen the episode and I'm not a fan of it, this pop is really cool. This really does represent as a lot of people say. This is show what you think this pop is what you think of when you think of Dragon Ball Z. How they have like the little lightning effects going around him and how he has the hell just going up and the L going up and it just looks so cool. Um, I consider picking this one up. I'm not sure if I will. That's how good this pop is. I don't like Dragon Ball Z but I am considering picking that pop up just because the design is so cool. And this really is one of the best pops Funko made and released for 2018. <laughs> So for number six, I chose the Fire Jack Jack. Fire Jack Jack. I can't speak. Fire Jack Jack. This pop is really cool. I think this is the best Jack Jack they released. They had several different variants of him, but this one by far stands out. The way they did this one was they made the mold for Jack Jack with the body and the head, and they painted it yellow, and then they put like a orange clear plastic on top of the pop and because of that it looks so cool Funko could have easily just made this one solid mold and then painted it try and make it have that fire effect but the fact that they um, made it the way they did just makes it look so much better and a pop makes it a pop that's worth getting in, in my opinion one of the best pops of the year I see this one as a lot of people's favorite for the year but yeah, for number six is Fire Jack Jack. So for number five, I chose um, a pretty cool pop in my opinion. This is the new and improved Big Boy from um, Bob's Big Boys. This was previously another pop. Well, he was holding a ball going. It was a San Diego Comic Con, I think exclusive and it was limited and it's crazy expensive the reason i chose bob's big or big boy was because big boy if you did not know was the first level character funko made a figure off of and this is kind of like known or kind of, yeah this is known and this was a previous pop that a lot of people wanted but just couldn't get the hands on and they re-released this one as a common and that is super cool how this was a common, not exclusive. So if you really went, wanted this one, you should have been able to get this one. Not that valuable, but it doesn't matter because this was a pop that I think everyone should be able to get that wanted it. And in my opinion, this does look um, a little bit better than the San Diego Comic Con one where he's holding the ball goal. But I think this is a really cool pop, um, pop and... This character is just tied with Funko. But let's get on to number 4. So for number 4, I chose Mossy from Overwatch. This pop is great. Um, I really like this one. This, um, The Overwatch pops, I feel, um, are one, the reason though the best selling line or collection from Funko is because... The character designs of them are so good already, and then when Funko does them, 
they make them stand out from one another, and because of that, they make some of the best pops ever made. And because of that, they make um this mostly just stands out so well. How she's on the base, kind of flowing down. She's holding her staff. She has her hand out like she's trying to help someone. Do um they use little clear plastic on her wings that makes it look nice. They use them that metallic paint on her halo. And it's just a great pop. I think this is the best Overwatch pop they have released up to date. But that was number four. So for number three, I chose Chucky on Cout. And this pop is great. This is a fantastic pop. This is updating a character Funko has not released in a while. Making it a completely new mod and just making it stand out. This pop is fantastic. If you're a horror fan, you should definitely add this one to your collection. As this one's just great. I love the hell mod, how he has the blood and just the dot on him and his hell is just crazy. And then he has the knife um, on his arm and he's just on the couch and it's crawling out. And behind it, the detail on it is just fantastic. And this pop really is worth getting. Um, I do consider getting this one. I currently do not have it. I do hope to add it to my collection very, very soon, though, because this pop is just fantastic. So for number two, I chose the Los Angeles Comic Con exclusive, Glow in the Dark, Ghost Rider, and or Doctor Strange as Ghost Rider. This pop is great. I love how they did this one. How he has the fire effect on his head. And it just. He's kind of on a base. And it just look, really looks cool. This is a pop that any Marvel fan should have. And if you're a huge fan of either Doctor Strange or Ghost Rider. This is cool. It's um, calling back to the classic Doctor Strange in the comic book form. And this one's just great. Funko handled it perfectly. This was number two. So for number one, I chose Genie from Aladdin. Not seen this film in forever. Maybe one day I'll rewatch it. But this pop is great. It's updating a pop that Funko previously made. In my opinion, the original one wasn't that good of a pop, in my opinion. It wasn't bad, but I wasn't a big fan of it. But they re-released him, they re-did him, and this looks so much better. He doesn't have the legs, he has like the little tail, and he has a little lamp um, on the bottom, and it just looks more like him, it looks more cartoonish. This pop is just really showing that Funko can really um, show... And represent the character really well. And that 2018 is a great year for Funko. That they've been doing great mods and great designs for all the characters. But that is number one. So there you have it. That in my opinion was the be top 10 best pop style released in 2018. Along with some of the best 10 inches, chase, 6 inches and a few others. Like I said... I realize not everyone will agree with me, so if you guys um, want to, you're more than welcome to show your opinions down in the comments below. And I would love to see what you guys think. But with that said, I hope you guys have a happy new year, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Going in 2019, I really hope Funko makes a Toy Bonnie pop. That really means.